sheriffs that are coming to the Lord right now. Yeah, and boy. Saying through visions and. Yeah, boy. And I, they are coming. I mean, that has never happened before. No, and the, the, you know, like uh, Rhoda, you know, now she's a little different. I don't want to equate her with the Muslim Arabs, but Rhoda, Sergio's wife, the, the, uh, just so you know, I, I think you might not have been here. You know who I'm talking about. Sergio's the guy that plays the piano, and the, the tall guy, he's Jewish. Did you know that? Yeah, he's a Jew. Drum at the, at the beach, yeah, he's a Jew, okay? He's a Russian Jew, and he's a Christian. Okay, he came to Christ some years ago, and uh, anyway, his wife is an Arab. And you talk about kind of what she's saying here. She attended, now listen to this, I might as well divert here, because it's kind of a fun story. She attended a Baptist school in Nazareth. That's where she grew up, and the school she was in was Baptist. Her father is a preacher, okay? And she came to school, a Baptist school in Israel. Her dad says, I took her to a jewelry store and says, you know, pick out what you want for your birthday. And she picked out one of these things. One of these, you got the... <laughs> right, you've seen this where it puts the two together, you know, the cross and the, the thing. And he says, are you sure you want that? He says, oh yeah, I want that. Now this is a girl that had nobody teach her that this is normal. She showed up in school and they wanted to kick her out of school. They're Jews. Can you imagine that? In a Baptist school in Israel, they said, you have to hide that. You're not allowed to wear that. You know? And she says, I'm going to wear this. And I, I, either her mother or father, one of them stuck up for her, and that was that. But anyway, the whole point is, and it might be the cross down, I don't know, whatever it is. Anyway, it, 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 it's like that. It's, it's a symbol kind of like that. But anyway, she, just out of the top of her head, decides, I'm going to be a friend of the Jewish people without anybody ever influencing her in any way. You see what I'm saying? This is happening. These kind of things are... And so what did she do? She is at a, uh, I think, a, 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 a church meeting or something, and Sergio shows up, and she, oh, he's handsome. You know, I don't think she knew he was a Jew. Maybe she did. But anyway, he's handsome, and uh, he fixes computers. Well, her computer had a little problem, and she, she needed to get it fixed. You know, and she kind of worked it all out. Well, eventually they got together, and uh, uh, I'm going to marry him. And do you know that they don't know anybody, anybody, ever, none of them, that knows an Arab that is married a Jew, married a Jew over there. They are like the first. This is the most, this would be like the first white guy marrying a black girl or a black, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like when William Shatner kissed uh, Uhura, it was the first yeah. white black kiss ever on, uh, in history of TV and everybody freaked out and one guy wrote Jim uh, Shatner a letter and he says well boy he says if uh, a good-looking young man like you could do it he says I guess it's okay so I mean it, it changed perceptions that one kiss on Star Trek but this is that this is the equivalent these two guys getting married over there this is just so funny I have to tell you this she had like 800 of her family members show up Arab families do everything together. Everybody's in everybody's business. They're just, you know, it's very close-knit society. 800-some people showed up for their wedding. Three from Sergio's family showed up. A little disproportionate, huh? And two of them flew in from Russia. Only one person who lived there showed up for his wedding. Can you imagine the, the step that they took? You know what? They did. You know, well, I guess they figure welcome to the club. But you know, she I think it was I think it was the father didn't want Sergio marrying her, right? And then she made him a chocolate cake and everything was okay after that. I mean, you know, that, that everything is just woven so well together and they are such a nice couple. Are they just staying here for a while? Well, they're here for now. This is where he works, and they live here. But, uh, you know, maybe they'll move again. They moved from oh, Iowa, I think, or I think they came from uh, Iowa down here. But, yeah, this is where they live now. And uh, I, he to, did my sermon on the beach last week, Rosh Hashanah. He filmed it, and he, okay. you can watch it on... I watched it last Oh, okay. Night, and uh, who was it that then came up? To his brother. His brother that mm -hmm. came up. So was he the one that... Oh, no, 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 no. Yossi is a friend of his from Israel, not his brother. It's the one that came up that answered your question? Yes, okay. yes. And, you know, I did that on purpose. I didn't think he'd come up, so I, I put him on the spot doing that because he's kind of a shy guy, but he just left. But anyway, he's, they're, they're both Jewish. And uh, anyway, Sergio did all of that editing. You see how well it was done? 
he d had two or three cameras going and he just, I was, I, I can't believe he did all that work for a sermon on the beat, you know? Week, he already did. Yeah, I had all done. And then he's, the, the guy is a glutton for punishment because he's doing it again this week. He filmed yesterday's. So, unbelievable. I, I just, unbelievable. The nicest guy, he's just, he's so, so intelligent. In he's back in Israel. Yeah, he was just visiting here. He'd been here before, but anyway, we could talk about them all day. I'm telling you, it's a race now, but it, things are really changing in the world. And they're happening in a way that God ordained. And they're part of it. I got to tell you what, to break down that stronghold was just like the first black marrying a white in America. It was a stronghold that finally went away. And now people understand that it's really okay. They're starting to understand that over here. And boy, they get along. They're, they're you know, and she's so funny. I shouldn't give away their secrets, but... She, she uh, one time got mad at him a couple weeks ago, and she, she said, I was mad at him. I wouldn't talk to him. She said, but I felt so bad that he'd be hungry. I, I cooked him a nice dinner. <laughs> they, they, are, they are really, a, to, please don't let this go. I mean, it's going to be on YouTube anyway, but, but they, they, are, they are the most special two people. If you get a chance to just introduce yourself and get to know them, I, I, you can't help but love them. They, they are just absolutely precious. And everybody that they meet says, what a nice, what a nice so couple of people. they realize their lost loved ones are going to be in, in going through the tribulation and they're not. He does. He knows. You know, and he, he really has an appreciation for the things of the Jewish and the Christian differences. I mean, he understands it. You know, Rhoda saying, well, you know, she is from a Christian Arab family, not a Muslim Arab family. Like I say, she went to a Christian school and all that. But uh, so I think it's less on her, but she understands this situation fully, that the Jewish nation has to go through this. And Sergio, he, he asked some questions and I sat down and we went through it together. And the guy now, he's, you know, he, he was kind of unsure in his, his faith and he got saved and then he kind of fell away during military because they all have to go in the military. Then he came back to the Lord a little bit. And, you know, like all of us do, I'm not saying anything. But anyway, he recently said, I'm, I'm going to read the Bible. And he said, my life has changed since I've dedicated to reading the Bible. And he says, it got to the point where, you know, I have to get to work and I've got one minute to get to work. And uh, he says, now I don't care. I'm going to read the Bible and then I'm going to get to work. Even if it's, he, he, his life is, I, I'm telling you, he is this guy that I was talking about. The Jewish person that understands the Jewish culture and is just absorbing it in a way that nobody else could. And a, a parallel is Jim Dwyer has said this, and I've seen this with several Catholics. He's the exception, so I'm going to make him the exception here. But several of the Catholics that I have met have all of the grounding in theology, and yet they have never had the heart, right? And all of a sudden, they have the heart. They, I was talking to Gene about this before class. He said um, uh, uh, they, they call themselves converted Catholics. And all of a sudden, they have a full understanding of all of the doctrines of Christ, but now they have Christ too. And they make the best Christians. I'm telling you, one doctor that I visited up in South Carolina, grew up a Catholic, became a Christian, and he is the most intelligent Christian. He's not one of these people that grew up in a Christian family that just never grew. He's, he went from, from understanding the doctrines to becoming this almost theologian overnight. It's amazing. So, and same thing with the Jewish people. Just when they come to Christ, wow. The olive tree is grafted in. We better get going so we can stop on a logical place. Where are we right now? 29. 29. Okay, well, we can go a couple more. That's a paragraph, but we'll go. Are we on 29? I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. The Exodus. Now at midnight, the Lord struck every firstborn male in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon, and every firstborn of the livestock. Firstborn. And he, he did them all. Like I said, that thing that Jacoby, the naked archaeologist, did can't be true because it wasn't just... Were you here when we talked about that, the, the firstborn? Uh, okay, so it, it, this, is, this is an actual miracle, and this is the Lord working. Every firstborn, including the animals, died. Okay, go ahead. During the night, Pharaoh got up, he along with all his officials and all the Egyptians, and there was a loud wailing throughout Egypt. I guess. Because there wasn't a house without someone dead. Okay, here's another parallel. Remember I was talking about the Matthew parallels? Okay, um, uh, what's another parallel in the New Testament, Matthew, of this? Oh, um, the Herod killing all the... Herring, ki Herod killing the, uh, the innocents. Now, that's not specifically this one. This is more 
when Moses was born. Remember Moses was born throughout all the firstborn? Okay. So, but this reminded me of that. That's just another one of the parallels that the Bible makes. There are, it's uncanny, the parallels that'll, that are in there. Anyway, go ahead. He summoned Moses and Aaron during the night and said, Get up, leave my people, both you and the Israelites, and go. Worship the Lord as you have asked. Take even your flocks and your herds as you ask and leave. And this will also be a blessing to me. Okay, uh, my, my Bible, just so you know, some Bibles read different. He said, this will be a blessing to me. In other words, I'll be happy to have you out of here. This Bible translated, and bless me also. Okay, in other words, he's saying, when you leave, please say a blessing on us because we've just lost all of our family. Have mercy on us and, you know, bless us and pray for us, whatever. So there is a difference in, you know, a, a, apparently the Hebrew will allow either. Like I say, Hebrew is not the specific language that Greek is. And so you have to infer what is being said. And I just want to let you know that there are a couple different possibilities there. Yours or maybe this. Go ahead. Yeah, it said uh, this will also be a blessing to me. Right. Uh, By you getting out of here, it's going to bless me. Whereas this Bible says just the opposite. Yeah. You're leaving, but please bless me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, bless right. Now the Egyptians pressured the people in order to send them quickly out of the country, for they said, we're all going to die. Okay, um, before I go on, I, I want to go back to the point I just made. That is why I like reading multiple translations. Right there, what we were talking about. Because we wouldn't have had that discussion if, you had, if we all had the same Bible. If we were all sitting here with the King Jimmy... Reading that, we, well, that's true. We, we, we wouldn't be knowing that there are variant possibilities. We'd be saying, well, this is all there is. And when you have different translations, it gives you a fuller understanding, or at least it allows you to question which is right, which makes more sense, why would a translator pick this over that, and that all goes into Bible translation. Anyway, um, then he says, um, uh, it's kind of funny what they said, go on, get out, because we're all going to, I mean, they really, if the firstborn is dying, maybe they think everybody's going to die pretty soon. <laughs> go! Oh. Don't let the door hit you, by the way. The what? Yeah, don't let the door hit you, exactly. So the people took their dough before it was leavened with their kneading bowls wrapped up in their clothes on their shoulders. The Israelites acted on Moses' word and asked the Egyptians for silver and gold jewelry and for clothing. Okay, remember he told them earlier, when you leave, you'll plunder the Egyptians. Ask them for silver and gold and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they are being obedient to it. And remember now, they may have exactly what Mary just said. They may have told their neighbors. It doesn't mean they plundered all of Egypt, they, but they, they, they may have told their neighbors, put blood on there and they'll be safe. And the people are so grateful. Maybe they just say, here, take, take, take old. Thank you. Thank you for having done this. We don't know. We're, this is all speculation. But what she said, I, I hadn't thought about that until she brought that up today, that that is a possibility. How did they plunder them? Because it says the pe people were favorable. You're, you're going to see it in the next verse or in somewhere down here. The people were favorably disposed towards Israel. Well, why would they be favorably disposed towards Israel when all of the people are dying and all their crops are being ruined? Probably because of what Mary said. It makes sense. I'm not saying that's correct, but it does make sense that, you know, we love you. you. You've been our neighbors for all of these years. Here's what it says in the book of Jeremiah. They are in exile in Babylon. And Jeremiah says, settle down, build houses, plant vineyards. Okay, and he says, pray for the people of your land that you may prosper. And maybe that's what happened here. They were praying for their neighbors. They were telling them, the Lord will save your firstborn if you do this. And the people are predisposed towards them and give them money. I don't know. That's speculation, but you see what I'm saying? It makes good sense because why would they otherwise do it? And that's been one of my questions over the years. Why would they do that? So, okay, go ahead. Well, and, and um, the king gave Abraham... Right. Melchizedek. And, and, you know, go. Yeah. The, yeah, absolutely. Or Abimelech. The, yeah, the king of... That's right. So, exactly. They're predisposed. And for what reason? What is the reason that these things happen? Good. All right? For one reason could also be that they know they're in God's good grace. That's right. And maybe that, give a blessing to me. Right? Okay. Oh, right. God. Bless me. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Here. Pray to your God. I'm going to give you gold. Whatever the reason is, and the next verse will tell you, verse 36 will tell you that they were just, go ahead. When the Lord gave the people such favor in the Egyptian sight that they gave them what they requested. In this way, they plundered the Egyptians. So, why would they have the favor? A couple different explanations, and they both make good sense.